Watch this, I just turned a blurry screenshot into a professional PBI material. In 30 seconds, no Photoshop, no Substance Painter, just a simple prompt. What's up guys, I am Nuno Silva and I spent the last month testing Nano Banana Pro on real client projects. I found 7 techniques that are generally changing how I work. The crazy part, most architects don't even know you can do this yet. Let's start with the most insane one. Quick note, I'm using Shot LLM by Abacus AI. They've reached out to me to show you guys their app in this video. Here's why I actually like it. It's basically every major AI in one platform. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, all of them, for just $10 a month, instead of paying separately. I'll let you know more about it later, and the link will be in the description below. But for now, let's get into technique number one. So here's the problem. You find the perfect material reference, but you can't find it as a PBI texture anywhere. You need Substance Painter, maybe hours of work, and honestly, most of us don't know how to do that. Watch what happens when I give Nano Banana this task. This is a screenshot from Google Street View of a Portuguese sidewalk. It's blurry, distorted, and the pattern is irregular. I expect Nano Banana to fail on this. On a shot window, I select the Nano Banana Pro model on the top dropdown. Then I upload the image and say, generate an albedo texture from this material. One by one, seamless. A couple of seconds later, look at this. It kept the missing stones, the irregular pattern, even the weathering. Looks like a photo I took of it myself. But we asked it for it to be tileable. Did it actually work? Let's see in Photoshop. An easy way to check this is by going to Filter, Other, and then just write half of the image size on the horizontal and vertical values. As you can see, perfectly seamless. But for a complete PBI material, we need other maps. So let's say, generate the normal map from the provided texture. And here's the normal map. Next, displacement map. Watch this. The first displacement made the black stones dark, which is wrong. Black means lower, white means higher. So I just told it. In this case, the black stones should be the same as the white ones for the displacement map. Fixed. That's a complete PBI material in under two minutes. Let me show you this in Lumion. Load the albedo, normal map, displacement. We can adjust the height values using this slider. And look at that depth. Professional result from a blurry screenshot. But here's where it gets better. You don't even need a photo. Reclaim Dutch bound brick wall texture. One by one, seamless instant PBI material from text. I've created many PBI materials this way. They are all free to download, link in the description. Now, technique number two can save you a lot of money. So a quick question. How many times have you bought a 3D asset that looked perfect on the website, but completely wrong in your project? Yeah, I've probably wasted hundreds of dollars on this as well. Here's the solution. I have this render, I want to test if the vegetation asset works before buying it. So replace the highlighted area with a provided image reference. And here's the image a couple of seconds later. Now I can see if it actually works before spending money. This is my workflow now. Test with AI, buy only what works and place the real asset. I've saved hundreds using this method. Next up, and this one surprised me. So the client says, can we see that sofa in a different fabric? The old way, find new material, replace it and re-render. The new way, watch, replace the sofa material with the provided image. Same render, new material, just in 20 seconds. But here's where it gets even better. This is a glass coffee table. Let's make it marble. Look at this, it didn't just change the texture, it understood that marble is opaque, adjusted the reflections, even added weight to how it sits in the scene. That's not just a texture swap, that's material physics. This alone can save you hours on client revisions. Now, the next technique is really cool. Here's a workflow I've been testing. What if you could design an entire interior just by showing reference images? I'm giving it three pieces of furniture I like. 
and asking it to design this living room sketch. Create a modern living room interior using these furniture pieces as inspiration. Match the style and colors. Look at that, it matched the style, the colors, even added complementary pieces that fit the aesthetic. Now, is this construction ready? I don't think so. But as a concept exploration tool, this is 10 times faster than mood boarding. This makes you and your client see the vision for the project way faster. All right, next one is specifically for architects. I took this photo of a building in Porto in Portugal. Complex facade, bell tower, clock, lots of detail. Can Nano Banana generate plan, section and elevation drawings from this? Let's find out. Generate orthographic blueprints from this building. Plan, section and elevation. Look at that. Bell tower, clock, stairs, window, it's all there. Now, full transparency. My first attempt wasn't perfect. The side view was off because I only gave it one photo. So instead I gave it three angles, front, side and aerial view from Google Maps. And it gave a much better result. For concept drawings, site analysis or client presentations, I think this is actually good. And a pro tip for you, give it multiple angles from the start. More reference images equals better results. Now, let's talk about something more practical for daily work. So, the client wants the same render in 16x9 for a presentation. You could re-render it, or I'll use the image mode here, select Nano Banana Pro and generate four variations. Extend the image while keeping the same environment. About 30 seconds later, four options we can choose, instead of going to re-render the image again. Small feature, but a big time saver. And by the way, speaking of presentations, this last one might be the most useful. Honestly, I'm using this one technique all the time now. I've got a perfect render, but the client wants a video walkthrough. The old way, set up the camera path, render overnight, <laughs> pray it works. New way, watch this. I've got this render and I want to turn it into a video. I'll switch to root LLM at the top, click more, select video generation. I'm using Kling AI version 2.6, one of the latest models. Now I'll describe the camera movement. The camera slowly moves forward with vegetation gently moving in the wind. <laughs> Look at that. Camera movement, wind in the vegetation, natural motion. Now, is this replacing full animation? Not really, but for slow camera moves, stabbling shots, social media content, this is faster and honestly, the quality is there. I've been using this for my Instagram posts lately. You can get quality animations quite fast. So there you have it, seven techniques I'm actually using in my architecture workflow. So I'm using Shot LLM by Abacus AI for all of this. Here's what you get for just $10 a month. Thousands of chat messages with multiple AI models, about 400 premium images per month, around 50 five second videos per month, and it's way cheaper than paying for ChatGPT, Claude, Kling, and Gemini separately. The link for it will be in the description below. And look, I know AI tools can feel overwhelming. New ones every week, right? But when they keep improving, we just need to adapt and adjust our workflows. I'm going to keep testing and finding more techniques like this. If you want to see them, hit subscribe. And if this saved you time or money, hit the like button. It helps other architects find this video. I've also created a free pack of PBI materials using this technique, ready to use in any software, link in the description. If you try any of these techniques, tag me on Instagram. I genuinely want to see what you create. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.